Hello crafty cuties and welcome back to another video. I wanted to take this time to make a video for you guys explaining some new changes that you will see in the journals that I offer. So I am adding a couple new styles of journals and I wanted to be able to give you a really detailed uh, exp explanation of what the differences are. So that's why we are here at this video. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with what you guys already know. My regular typical junk journal. And if you're new to this channel, I do tons of flip throughs, which you can check to see what my journals look like. But most of you know that my typical junk journal is going to be a journal that is full of detail. Um, I, these do come in different sizes and different page numbers, but we're not gonna talk about that. The main thing is that you know what my regular style is. Each page is decorated, almost every page has at least some detail in it. Um, and they, my journals do come with a charm always. And then sometimes I will add a tassel and you're going to see that I am going to have the option to add a tassel to any of my journals that I did not put one on. So we already know, you know, tons about my regular journals. Let's go to the next newer style that I'm going to be offering which is going to be called my half naked junk journal. So my half naked junk journal is going to come with every single thing that you would expect in my regular junk journal. However, most of it is going to come separate. It's going to come in these little uh, bags here on the side so that you can decorate your journals however you want. Now the pages are not completely blank. I do add some pockets so that there is some sewing because as you know, you can't really do sewing after the pages are in the journal. So I did you want you to have some detail. So I do sew on pockets, uh, not as many as I would in my regular style and they are more plain. So it's just a plain pocket. That way you can decorate the pockets however you want. Um, and if you want to see a complete flip through of this, I'm going to have that on a separate video. But uh, what else? These journals, the half naked journals are going to come with charms and there will be an option to add a tassel. So you can decide if that's something that you want to add. And of course the covers are going to be completely decorated and I am going to go ahead and give you an idea of what everything is that I'm going to send along because it's a little bit different when you just see it on the side. So let's quickly go over that and then I'm going to talk to you about my naked junk journals next. So when I'm getting started, excuse me, to decorate a junk journal, I go through my stash and pull out every possible thing that I want to use in my journals. And so what I did here was I did that, but instead of putting it on the journal, it's on the side, like I've already mentioned a hundred times. So this is all of the lace that I would use on this journal. There's trims, there's uh, these kind of tassel -y things, fabric even, everything that I would choose to use in this journal. So that's going to be in a little separate bag here. Of course, they're always going to be packaged up a little bit different depending on the journal and whatnot. And then all of the embellishments, all of the journaling cards and tabs. Um, you guys probably know I make a lot of embellished paper clips to go to hold pieces on in my journal. So you get a little bag. There's probably about 10 here because that's about the number that I would use. Some journals I use uh, the little binder clips and if that were the case, they would just be in here. Um, little teeny file folders. Like I said, little handmade tabs. So you're still getting a lot of handmade pieces that can go into the journals. And the fun part is you can use these however you want. So, you know, it doesn't have to be in the journals. Um, all of the cut aparts that I would typically use to go with this theme. So you have everything here that matches. Um, a good amount of washi samples, again, that go with this theme, coordinate. Um, little die cuts that I would use. I mean, you can see it's a lot here. I already made up the uh, tab, sorry, tags for you guys. Um, stickers and each journal, this is going to vary. Okay, this is, so use this as an example. You guys have, get the idea, I'm sure. Lots of journaling cards, glassine bags, ephemera, um, 
just a ton of stuff here. So in the future, when I do these flip throughs, I will always briefly show you what's going to come with the half naked journals, um, just so you can have a, an idea of what to expect. And then like in this bag is just a ton of tags. So I hope that is clear. And then like I mentioned, the next option that's going to be a new option is my naked junk journals. And I don't have one here to show you, but I think you guys can kind of imagine what it would look like. It would be just like a regular junk journal with the cover decorated. It's going to have all of the signatures sewn in, uh, book corners if I were using it on that journal, your tie but this one's going to have just the paper inside. It's not going to have any pockets, any sewing. It's going to have tons of different types of paper, so pattern paper, graph paper, ledger paper, probably even coffee dyed or rainbow dyed paper, but this one is going to be the super blank canvas. It's not going to come with any ephemera, it's not going to be filled with any ephemera, and of course if you want to add on a charm or tassel, that's an option too. So this is going to be good for someone who really wants a lot of space in their journals, maybe someone who is a creative person that wants to be able to decorate their layouts, and yeah, so I'm going to see how you guys like these options, and when if you are ordering a custom journal for me it will be good for you to know these different types of journals that i offer now so that you can decide what type you would like i have a feeling most people are still going to like the regular style because i know that's something you guys really like um, that's something a little bit unique about mine is that all of the pages are super decorated but i think that this middle option especially is going to be a really good option for many it kind of gets you started and you still have all of the goodies to go along with it. So I hope that made sense guys. And again, if you want to see these two journal flip throughs, then that will be in the next video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.